Hey guys, it's Chris from Highline Handmade Guitars. I've had a few questions about my um, drill press table slash overarm router jig, so I thought I would shoot a quick video showing how this works. Uh, this is basically just a Delta 12 inch, I think it's a five speed or six speed drill press. And a while back the table broke and the cost of replacing the table was gonna be more than the drill press was worth. So. Uh, and I wasn't ready to buy a new drill press, so I thought, well, I'll just make a new table. And I got to thinking, why not combine a table with an overarm router? So this is kind of what I came up with. Um, and uh, let me show you how this works. The table is just a piece of half inch thick MDF board, which is held by four screws to a, an arm uh, made out of poplar, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is then held to the uh, drill press uh, post with two U-bolts. And I have some knobs here which I can loosen. And then I can raise or lower. It's not the, the smoothest functioning uh, table design. You know, the original table had a hand crank that you could crank to move it up and down, but it still works pretty well. I can get it into almost any position I want and then just tighten these down. But then to get to the overarm router, I just remove the four screws that hold the table to the arm. Then I can remove the table. Now another thing I did was I bought some of these magnets from Harbor Freight, I think it was. And I can just put the screws on there so I don't lose them. Okay, so I've got these two bolts here which are attached to a block of wood um, that's held in place underneath here by the weight of the drill press so they can't move. And then all I have to do is lay those on there, lay the table on there, put the washers, a couple of wooden nuts. The arm itself, this is just a piece of poplar, and what I did was I drilled a hole in the center that's big enough to accommodate my router. Then I took the router's fixed base, which I, I really never use it for anything. I mostly use the plunge base. So I just attached the fixed base um, with three screws, three, three machine screws here, and that's held in place. Then all I have to do is put the router in, and then if necessary, once I've got the bit that I'm going to use in there, I just loosen the arm. so that the, the arm stays stationary. And then once I get it to the height that I want, I can just fine tune it to get it precise and then clamp it down. I also have a hole here um, and I can line up the center of the bit with the hole um, and then use it as a pin router if I want to. Um, so that's basically how it works.